Thank you for joining us. McPherson residents still reeling from the damage caused by this weekend's ice storm. Thousands of tree limbs and several power lines down throughout the city. New at 10, Cakes Madeline Anderson shows us the hardest hit parts of town. Madeline? Well, Chris, the destruction is widespread. The county even issuing a disaster declaration this morning. Residents are now hoping for sun the rest of the week so they can thaw out. After a cold, wet, and windy holiday weekend. Basically, looks like a, a war zone. Temperatures finally rose to above freezing today. It's just raining chunks of ice. Allowing the blanket of ice covering the city to begin to melt. Residents along Elm Street spent the milder afternoon assessing the damage in their yards. Anywhere that there's a tree, uh, they're devastated by it with, with the weight of the ice. You know, branches down everywhere. I tried to go out every time I heard one hit and drag it to a pile either in front or in back. Officials urge homeowners to wait to clean up the debris until all of the ice is gone. There are a lot of loose limbs up there as well. That is, they kind of snap back up. They have a tendency to break off. But one thing folks can't wait on is heat. City Administrator Nick Gregory says crews are working to restore power to some 500 people yet tonight. This isn't the first time we've been through this. Uh, there was one in 13, and before I got here in 2008, that we've had to deal with. So we've got some experience dealing with high storms, and that's part of living in Kansas. In the coming weeks, Gregory says he's hoping to partner with volunteer groups to help get everyone back on their feet. Mother Nature can be cruel. Everybody could use a little help in, in situations like this, so we do what we can. And the city administrator says he won't know the total amount of damage for several weeks. He says no one was seriously injured. Now, the Red Cross did open a warming center today at a local church for those without power, but staff closed it this evening at 6 because few people actually needed its services. The warming center has relocated to Trinity United Methodist Church in Hutchinson. Thank you, Matt.